Hi guys, so uh, just playing a, a game I just saw on sale recently, um, Dungeons of Sundaria, uh, yeah, Dungeons of Sundaria, it's kind of like a Diablo style third person um, looter RPG, action RPG, um, third person is pretty cool, uh, reminds me of some old school PSP games actually, um, it's, it's pretty like indie jank, but um, surprisingly just kind of polished at what it does. Um, yeah, I've been uh, playing a lot of Diablo 4 over the weekend, so I haven't done much uh, injector stuff. Uh, and you'll see that I've got to turn off my hardware scheduling, so you get a big uh, warning on the injector when, when you have that. Um, so yeah, just making my character, I'm just kind of seeing what the options are. Uh, I'm normally a, an elf ranger, if I can, <laughs> in anything I try. Um, so try and make one of those. Just changing my my sound here. I've got to change it to my quest too. Um, but yeah, I'm also excited to try the Layers of Fear demo uh, that recently came out at UB5. Uh, I'll probably do that tonight actually. Um, when it's dark, fit the mood a bit, a bit better. Um, but yeah, nice surprise that this is uh, just works perfectly. Um, I was wondering, because it has split screen, whether I'd need the uh, split screen compatibility. Uh, not that I'd turn that on or not. <laughs> maybe, maybe that breaks it once I, I turn that on. Um, but yeah, this is online co-op as well. I mean, it's a pretty dead game. <laughs> if you're just going to find random people, but if you're going to play with your friends, it seems pretty cool. The uh, the models in this game, I would say, are pretty fugly. <laughs> like, uh, I kind of just want to mod some nicer models into this, but um, once actually you're in the, in the game and you're looking at them from behind, it's not, not too bad. I am a sucker for just kind of a vanilla fantasy RPG with just stuff like this. And they've got kind of like a procedurally generated... Um, Dungeons kind of reminds me of uh, Valhalla Knights uh, on the PSP. Um, and this is has another game. The name for, uh, the name escapes me. But, yep, here we go. Made my character, made my elf ranger. And we'll, we'll go into the game. Now, I, I hadn't played this before. And I was initially being like, oh, cool. I can walk around the, um, the town. But it's just like a menu. <laughs> <laughs> where you've got like it loads of 3d environments the the loading time uh, i'm running this m.2 M ssd the loading times on this are super quick like uh, i was right into the game just as soon as i turned launched it from steam like pretty much right in the character creator um it says like uh, school kill skill cooldowns kind of like uh, world of warcraft or something um just a bit more simple and you've got your normal kind of tropes you've got all different vendors and quest givers and stuff in kind of the town um, I turned on the Epic's Temporal Upscaling here, um, just to improve performance even while I wasn't having any performance issues, but I might as well turn it on, because I think it just looks basically the same when you get more frames. Making sure V-Sync's off. It's annoying when you can't get into the option settings until you've done a bunch of stuff like create a character. Um, controller support, really good in this. Um, kind of feels just like an Xbox 360 game with uh, kind of support that it has. Uh, and uh, I think you're just supposed to have like a flat image of this, so uh, I'm actually surprised there's quite a bit of environment behind you. Um, but yeah, I'm just uh, grab a bunch of like the entry quests. I'm kind of like too long, didn't read on a bunch of this. The goblins in this game are oddly terrifying. I'd say. <laughs> you can play as a goblin and an orc, but not a female orc, unfortunately. Yeah, this, uh, I was wondering what hover was. It's like this guy can change your haircut. I feel like it's kind of insulting to hairdressers everywhere. But yeah, there's like a text chat thing. You can talk to other you know, online players. Uh, I think it's up to like four people. Let me just check the Steam page. I think up to about four people. Um, what does it say? Um... But yeah, it seems like, yeah, the four players. Um, and the split screen, so I mean, if you wanted to play flat screen, 
again is kind of uh, designed for it. And it's still getting updates. The last update was 29th of April. The new dungeon. So, um, I don't know where Lizard Man is. I don't know if that's unlockable. I see on their Steam page it's second edition 2022. <laughs> There's no lizard man in the game. Um, yeah, it seems like it regularly getting updates. It's overall generally positive, and I, I think yeah, it's a pretty cool little um, little title. Oh yeah, I changed the world scale here. I'm just like, yeah, it just immediately makes the crappy textures and models like just better when they're miniature instant visual upgrade and it's really difficult to see it on flat screen recording i like the bank there's no one in there just open vault i'm like okay it's like everyone seems to be a merchant of some kind um but yeah it's all you've got a quest log you got inventory you got abilities hotkeys and stuff and unlike diablo 2 it looks like you can switch the slots uh, <laughs> Yeah, festering bog, that looks like a new one. But there's quite a few little uh, areas. And we load in. Pretty nice, pretty nice. It's obviously like a game designed for the split screen on like low end hardware, so it's kind of pretty simple. Get any smart abilities. Probably should have done a melee build. <laughs> um, the cursor as well is really accurate. Um, especially the default UI. I start to play around with the UI later on, um, and then I realize it kind of like no longer accurate, so I kind of reset everything and just set the UI back. It's like a dodge roll. Kind of souls like, but it's still very kind of it's a bit like wow type. More skill based traditional RPG stuff. I first of all, these are NPCs, so I was not attacking them. But they're not, they are unfriendly bandits. Some of the, um, the effects of the abilities are pretty good. I do unlock uh, like a new ability while I'm going through this dungeon. Um, so even though it seems quite simple from the, the early game, it looks like it's going to get better. Got a nice rapid fire shot there. I'm just looting everything. Um, Yeah, so here I play with the UI, so I, I, I kind of make it smaller and then like bring it physically close, closer to me, which again you can't really see on the on the on the, uh, on the video. But yeah, having it closer to me, just um, especially with a tiny world scale, like where your eyes focus, like if you're if it's not in a comfortable position, your eyes will like double vision it just because you're like it's slightly too close to you like imagine trying to read a book that's a slightly too close while looking at like a picture on the wall while having text you kind of want it in, on the same plane um, and I also moved it down a bit because I want to see my character more but it just makes me a bit more um, inaccurate with the bow so I, I reset it in a bit Yeah, I think this will be really fun actually with a group of people, but I think it's, it's been maybe difficult to get a bunch of people to play this jank uh, Kusage kind of uh, um, random game on Steam. And it wasn't like particularly cheap, it was like 10 bucks or something on the sale at the moment. But I'm impressed they're, they're still updating it. I just wish the models weren't <laughs> bugly. Um, Well, I think if you replace all the uh, models with anime girls and boys, just sort of immediately get like a thousand more sales. <laughs> and like playing through this particular dungeon, like the um, procedural segments are a little bit repetitive, but I didn't get that far in. Uh, and there are quite a few different different ones. And uh, I noticed a lot of human enemies. I don't know if it changes. I mean, there's like more monster stuff. I mean, maybe there were some walls later on, but I 
Yeah, so here's where I, I noticed on the curses off. <laughs> So, um, the UI is one thing that doesn't really have like a reset all button. I mean, I, I could put it back to normal, but I've, it's a bit fiddly, so I just kind of like to reset everything. Um, and then the only things I had to turn back on were like the world scale and my like resolution and stuff. You need to just be careful when changing resolution. If you do it too quick, it will, um, it will crash <laughs> in a lot of games if you, if you do it too quick. So normally I change the resolution like at the start on like a main menu or something and do it slowly. And this uh, and this is open XR, like if you're on Steam VR then you have to do it with the uh, Steam VR settings. But if you've got a quest to you want to be running it on open XR, just it's better performance. So I've realised I've picked up some gear X to equip or use. <laughs> like you have to use the um, like weapons and stuff. But um, it seems like uh, gear and weapons they'll have like physical differences in a character, which which is nice. I pick up a fashionable cape later on as well, which looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't know how much fun this would be completely solo. Like, <laughs> uh, also, I hope that, like the uh, difficulty scales up as well with uh, more, more people. I kind of wish uh, more devs just like leverage better technology and just have like really low end graphic style, but <laughs> like PSP graphic style, but just like crank up the enemies, crank up everything, crank up the LOD. Realize, oh, it's not like it's nice to have some breakables. But yeah, playing this in third person VR is just so cool. I, I really love third person VR games. Just the extra immersion, just, um, yeah, it just heightens everything. So I think, yeah, I've opened all these doors. I go through the center one. I'm thinking all boss battle, right? <laughs> like I, I've, I've played these games before, so I'm just double check my equipment. Realize I've picked up a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it looks like you can switch between the weapon sets. Yeah, as well as, as the models being ugly, the uh, UI is like, <laughs> it's very well classic, I guess, that's what I was trying to probably go for the vibe. It's very functional. But yeah, this boss is just a human enemy with a crossbow. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm playing down the, the game, but I was actually having quite a lot of fun, which is why this video is like 20 minutes long. I, mean, I was just going to check this out for 10 minutes to make sure it worked. Like, okay, do I kill this wolf? I don't know. <laughs> Having the cooldowns is nice. But yeah, I'll, I'll let this play out. Um, I don't really have much to add. I just, this is probably like it works perfectly. I think, I mean, I literally found no problems with it so <laughs> I, I'm like now I try and find things to like mark mark a game down to works well but like there was literally nothing like really good controller support UI all good like aiming lines up fine um looks nice and crisp um oh yeah actually there was like some water in the town that's in actually not even even in the town I think it was like the main menu that was uh, only a one eye um so maybe there's a level later on that has issues but Finish your night, eh? Alright, thanks guys. I will see you in the next one.